you can't stop me, no, no, you can't stop me, no, no, you can't stop me. Don't let me out, don't let me out, they don't let me out. I am fashion, 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 I am fashion. What's up guys, it's your boy Trubix Music here with the Homos team, and we need you to do three important things. We need you to like, comment, and subscribe. What inspires your music? Well, I uh, got into music because I uh, like house music. I love house music. So that was that being from Baltimore, that's what you know. Baltimore. Right. <laughs> so um, I got in the studio because I never never been in the studio until like 10 years ago. I never wrote a song, but I wanted house music. So I, I kind of went on Craigslist, found a producer to do beats. I was like, hey, do you do house music? Oh, yeah, I do. I was like, oh, let's can we make, make a song. He was like, well, come to the studio. I was like, oh, shit, what did I get myself into? But I'm going to do it. <laughs> right. I can't be a no-show. Exactly. So from there, I, I found out that I was, uh, because I didn't sing, I was a hip-hop artist, but I was also a house music artist, which today is EDM artist. So, um, with you know, music, I like to put it all together. Like some of my music, I got opera singers on it. I got R&B singers. I got rock music, everything. I just, because being an emperor of music, the emperor has is over type of all the stars. Put it all together. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. I love that. So it was it was how you grew up and the music that you listened to is right. what inspired you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. Good enough. Good enough. So, do you write your own music? Um, I would say about fifty percent. Yeah. Okay. And I, I, like to, I like to collab with other uh, writers because I still I still consider myself as a newbie, so I like to like make it better. So I'll come up with something like level one, and I want somebody to take me to level two. And I'm okay. You've been with like that all your life. Right. 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 Yeah. You've been like that all your life. I will never forget how you started as a baby pageant, a b in a baby male pageant. You you was a baby in the game, right? <laughs> then you you won one you you won one pageant. Then you, now you didn't want multiple pages, and then you say, fuck it, I'm about to buy it off. <laughs> That's what you said. You said, you said, you said, I'm going to buy this bitch. You said, not, not only am I the damn emperor of music, you heard me, but if you need me to, right. you heard me, I'm ready. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love it. I love it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I told y'all, listen, first TV viewers, we get into the meat, the bone, the right. gravy. You heard me? The whites. You heard me? And I don't eat no carbs, but we eating them today. You heard me? We getting into Mr. Septimius, the great today. All right? So for our next question, the next question that I have for you, sir. Yeah. You feel me? Is what are some of the challenges that you have faced as an artist? My biggest challenge is uh, sometimes it's myself because I because I try and jump out there. I have no idea what I'm doing, and a lot of times I just fall and I just dust up, dust off, and let, I keep going. So I think other than myself, you know, I put I put a lot of trust in some people, you know, coming up um, in different in different aspects. You know, thinking that they had the, the right knowledge, the right, you know, guidance for me. But I was so far past what they were doing. I'm like, no, you don't get me. <laughs> so I wasted a lot of time with people who just didn't get me. And I, I, I ended up having to do it myself. Yeah. So the that, that alienation. Yeah. You know, that, that I get that. I'm the same way. I'm an alien as well. You know, I'm a designer. I, that's what I do. I design shit and you know I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm self-taught and so you know sometimes you know a lot of people don't understand right they don't understand me until I build it and I design it and now everybody want to buy it you understand right. what I'm saying so sometimes you have to you know and, and that could be discouraged and I'm sure that the people that you were running into um you know it, it was discouraging for them not to understand you because you you get 
to this alienated place and, and then it make you kind of start questioning yourself. And the only thing that can really get you through that is your confidence right. in yourself. Yeah. Am I, yeah. I, mean, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's me. Thank God I, I, I was instilled with all the confidence in the world because I'm never scared. Even if I don't know how to do it, I'm researching. I'm going to find right. out how to do it. Yeah, exactly. what I'm so you exactly. have to not be scared. You have to, you know, overcome a certain fear to, have to. to, yeah. to get to where where you are. And so you have that, to. I take my hat off to you even in that sense. Right. And then uh, and I, I would say the people out there who have uh, well technically let me down or I let the, I let them down. They're good at what they do. Like like what, I met a lot of like managers who wanted to manage me or record producer stuff who are really good at hip-hop, but I'm not a hip-hop artist. I don't really have boundaries, and if you, you may be good at what you do, but I don't fit in that. So I just had to look back and say, Timmy, look yourself. <laughs> and create your own category. Sometimes yeah. you have to do that. Just because, yeah. you know, the, the our, we live in a world of labels, categories, all that type of stuff. So, you know, and the thing about it is I love that, and that's why I can honestly... You know, I'm, I'm interviewing you, but I have a very strong respect for you um, just because, you know, you 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 were built differently. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? And and you you have not been afraid to go against the norm. Of right. That. Exactly. Yeah. You, I, I'm a fan of that. I, I promise you I am you just in a design sense. You, you we a, are very fulfilled no, beings. No. <laughs> what you say? I didn't hear you so tell me. It's I'm quite a fan of you and your interview skills and the way you think. It's like the best interview I've had so far. Really? <laughs> oh, God. You know the crazy thing? This is my first time interviewing anybody. <laughs> That's a so crazy. Listen, but see, when I go in, I'm like you. When I go in, I go in, and I don't care if I don't know how to do it, but I'm confident enough to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Part of a tiger, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Part of a tiger over here, baby. All right, so when do you feel like your love for music developed? Um, after a breakup, yeah. I, I, I went through a breakup, and I was just like, uh, uh, the, the person I was seeing was actually like managing music artists. So I, I knew my family was into music, but I'm not close to them. My friends are my family. So, um, after I, you know, the whole time I was like, can you get me the music? Can you get, I want, I want to do one song for a fashion show. Can you get me the music? Kept ignoring me. So as soon as the, the relationship was over, I was like, I'm going to be a music artist. And then that's what that, that I was looked like. That's it. That's <laughs> I mean, it. I, I got gave my mind up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not taking this shit back. Right. <laughs> You might close the door to the room, but I'm going to open up the door to the house. <laughs> listen, 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 period. Listen, I'm going to perform, and then after I perform and I win, I'm going to buy this bitch. <laughs> listen, listen, why you playing? And listen, listen, because your, your, thinking, your thinking of me is very short, but I am going to show you. I'm going to show you who the greatest is. <laughs> I'm going to show your ass. I know that's for us. You better show him. Boy, you better show him. All right. All right. I love that. I love that. This is great. This is great. So, listen. So, you were also nominated uh, on the Grammy Ballads. Tell, tell me about that. Like nine or, or ten times. Or, wait, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Give me the other play. This, this would have. Listen, because I, I didn't get my research on your ass. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't do my research on yet. And and I said, I said, now hold up. Hold up. I need the people to definitely know about this alien right here. You heard me? And yes, I said right here because this is greatness that I'm interviewing. And y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know. But for the people who don't know and the people in the back who can't hear, tune in. This interview is lit. Do you hear me? I am interviewing one of the greatest artists of all times, mark my word, you heard me, and listen, if you won't sell it to him, he gonna still buy that shit, you heard me, because he don't play, he don't play, listen, to go ahead, September, I need you to tell me, I need you to, I need you to tell me about these nominations, 
because this is that's good shit. Tell me about it. And the thing about it is, I tell even new artists coming up, it's so easy. Well, I was in a party somewhere, and somebody said I was a part. I'm a part of the Grammys, and I was like, oh wow. How do you do that? You know, Gemini asking questions. <laughs> they say, oh, you just go online. You go online and you apply. And I was like, okay. Went online, Grammy.com, there's a membership. Of course, you got to qualify for it. I qualify for it, but there's a social level and there's a voting member level. And I happen to hit the voting member level because of things I've done. And I submitted all my copyrights and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs>